Hey guys, my name is Peyton Sarton and welcome to today's vlog. Well, it's kind of gonna be a vlog. I'm going to take you guys through my like chill, relaxed vibes, nighttime routine. So this is not something I get to accomplish every single night, especially this month, especially during Vlogmas. I'm usually editing video forever and ever and ever until my eyes close at night and I fall asleep. I'll usually do this like Friday or Saturday if I'm spending the night just like by myself, catching up on sleep and me time from a crazy week. So I'm gonna take y'all through my relaxing nighttime routine so it's kind of like a nighttime vlog. I'm starting to love the nighttime vlog. I'm definitely a night owl. This feels very much more my vibe than like the 5 a.m. wake up. I'm talking to you, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> So you can have the 5 a.m. wake up, you can go see Taylor's 5 a.m. video if you want. This is where we start videos at, what time is it? 10.25. 10.25 p.m. That's when we start videos around here. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the nighttime routine. We're gonna kind of layer this night one thing on top of the other, okay? So the first layer of a relaxing night, the first step that you take is to set the mood. You set the vibes, okay? My first thing that I do is I turn on music. So we have Amazon Alexas throughout the whole entire apartment. <laughs> I'm in a, an Amazon Alexa addict. Amazon definitely knows everything about my life and I honestly don't think that I care. First, I tell Alexa to play just like my nighttime vibe playlist. So I have a couple playlists that I like. I've made some on my own or I'll just like look up and like shuffle through playlists that I like. I don't really listen to one specifically, but lately I have been going for my playlist called Me Vibing, that's it. And I love this playlist. I put it together specifically for my nighttime like relaxation session. So I will actually link that playlist below so you guys can go look at it. It's on Spotify so everyone can follow it if you want to follow it. It's just very vibey like ambiance lo-fi music which I really have been into lately. I can definitely tell my weed intake has been going up just by the music that I like to listen to. That's the number one vibe setter is the music, the playlist. I have it playing in my room, in my bathroom, and in the living room. And then I go through with the lighting of the apartment, okay? So actually our apartment doesn't have a whole lot of overhead lighting, so we have a lot of lamps throughout the apartment, and in my bedroom I don't have any overhead lighting at all. So I have my two lamps, and they give me like a nice dim lit situation in my room, so it's just very calming. I turn the lamp on out here in the living room. And we also have the Christmas decor up right now, so I'll turn on those lights and our LED candles, and it's a nice ambiance with the music and everything. Next, we gotta get the scents going, the calming scents. So I use my diffuser and I put in a few essential oils into the diffuser. I like to diffuse like peppermint or eucalyptus or maybe a little bit of tea tree oil because it always smells really clean to me. Okay, so now that I have the vibes set, my essential oils are going, my music is playing, my lights are all dim lit and nice, I move on to the physical relaxation experience. I always start the night with a shower. I wash everything off from the day. I just like cleanse, I guess. If I'm trying to treat myself, I'll usually take an Epsom salt bath or I have like this Epsom salt bubble bath stuff. And I just got both of these at CVS. On occasion, I will let myself watch some TikToks in the bath as well. Just, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I need at the time, that's what I'll do. After I get out of the bath, when my skin is still damp, I put on like some kind of deep moisturizing lotion. I really like this one from Aesop right now. Or I'll use like a true, like actual just coconut oil while my skin is damp and that feels really nice and really moisturizes my skin. After that, I'll start my skincare routine. Nowadays, I am double cleansing my skin. So first I use the Bioderma Micellar Water and then I use this niacinamide cleanser. I really like this cleanser right now and it's definitely taking up off all of my makeup properly and I feel like my skin is very clean without being dried out. After that, I will run an ice cube over my skin. And I actually learned this tip from my favorite esthetician. I will rub the ice on my skin. I move it really quickly so it's never on one part of my skin for too long, but ice definitely 
calms a lot of the inflammation and redness that I have on my skin and it's really great for helping with acne. Tonight I'm going to do a glycolic gel. It's um, an exfoliating glycolic gel that I'll put on and it's relatively gentle. I do have sensitive skin so I've built up my tolerance to use this. This glycolic gel has been really helping with my acne and texture. After that I use my first aid moisturizer. This is a really highly moisturizing moisturizer. I've noticed that some of the creams like this tend to make my skin break out. This one absolutely does not make me break out. I've only had great experiences with this so I am sticking to it. This product is definitely one of my ride or dies at this point. I really do base my skincare routine off of what it is that I need at that particular time. So sometimes I will do a mask or sometimes I'll do like the under eye masks or a lip mask or something like that. But it really just depends on what I feel like my skin needs. Lastly, I will brush out my hair and put a little bit of oil on the ends. I really find that this helps for when I wake up in the morning, my hair feels much more hydrated and tame. So now that I'm all hydrated and feeling fresh, I go into my room or into the living room and as you know from before, the vibe has already been set in there. So it's calm, it's tranquil, the lights are dim, my scent is going, I'm feeling very relaxed. So generally after this, I will light some candles and I'll get some candles going throughout the house. I just like love having my tall like kind of tapered candles going and then I have scented candles throughout the apartment as well. Taylor and I go through a million candles. So a lot of the times I will go into my kitchen and I will make myself some kind of tea if I'm really feeling relaxed. I really like peppermint tea right now just because it feels kind of seasonal. Sometimes I'll do like a chamomile tea with honey or something like that, just whatever it is that I have. Sometimes I will take a small what I would call like maybe a microdose of weed sometimes that's like if I'm really chilling that night or I'll take a magnesium supplement like the calm supplement I will take that a lot of the times I will start my night with this but it just kind of depends on what time I start winding down so I really like something that's not very intense whether it be the magnesium supplement or a microdose of weed. I live in California, I'm over 21, I'm allowed to do this. So I'll get like a little two milligram, two and a half milligrams going of something calming. And after that, it's time to really relax. I have my free time at this point. A lot of the times I'll find myself trying to read a book. Um, it's important to me to start reading again and like reading frequently and on a daily basis. I think that's so important. So I've really been trying to incorporate reading into my routine and this is a great way to do it. I feel like it feels really luxe. I've had my spa night and I'm all relaxed and I've let myself sit down to read. It feels more like a treat than like a duty. And again, this is all about relaxing and giving myself what I think that I need to relax and be better and do better the next day to kind of recuperate. So if I don't feel like reading, I'm not gonna force myself to to read. Other things that I like to do to decompress, I'll put on my blue light glasses, which are a very important thing for me in the evenings. I have those linked in my Amazon shop and I will leave a link for my Amazon shop below because so many things that I've mentioned are in my Amazon shop. I live on Amazon. I feel like this whole video could be sponsored by Amazon right now freaking wish. So I'll put on my blue light glasses. I'll either browse around Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I love it so much. I love looking at inspo. It's just like my place that I go and I feel very happy there and I feel very at home. I'll look at quotes. I'll look at images. I'll just browse around, do whatever I want to do. It's a free for all on Pinterest and I absolutely love it. Okay. Or I will go on TikTok and I love TikTok. TikTok, though I know it is a social media app, it brings me lots of happiness and lots of laughs you know and i send them to my friend they send it to me it's a nice little social endeavor it feels good to sit down and watch tiktoks with my blue light glasses on always blue light glasses after like 10 p.m usually this is also the time that i will facetime joe my boyfriend joe if you guys do not know him he and i do not live in the same city so i usually facetime him in the evening times and i'll do so kind of after or at some point during my relaxing routine. But sometimes Joe's a part of my relaxation routine. Sometimes he's the reason I need a relaxation routine. You know, it's like a, there's a balance there. This is just my free time, something to do to make myself feel good or feel inspired or feel happy, whatever it is that I need that night, I will partake. And then at this point, it is time to go to sleep. I start with making my apartment pretty cold <laughs> and I turn off everything. 
turn off all my lights and I play like ambient nature sounds to go to sleep at night and usually I fall like immediately asleep after this. So this is truly my favorite, best, most amazing nighttime routine I could muster up. I always feel much better in the morning after I've done my nighttime routine like this. I just feel like I'm taking care of myself and I feel like that was just like a little me moment where I'm giving myself you know, a break, I'm giving myself some grace and I'm allowing myself to just relax and just be. In the morning when I wake up, I just kind of feel like I love myself a little bit more and I feel like I've loved on myself a little bit more. That's always a really great thing. We definitely need more of that, a lot more of that, especially nowadays. That is literally the end of my night term routine because at this point I am fast asleep. I am living my best life, just like completely unaware of anything just dreaming big dreams, you know? So let me know if there's anything that I did not add in my nighttime routine that you do specifically that just makes you the calmest person on the earth. I would love to know. And thank you guys as always for watching this video. Come find me on Instagram if you wanna see my day-to-day -day content, especially over the course of the weekend. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here because I would love to have you on Team P. That's what we're gonna call this now, it's Team P. It's Team P or Bust, okay? So I hope all of you treat yourself to a wonderful, relaxing night for one, and I will see you guys in the next video.